consumer news today, an important recall to tell you about. Mylan, the maker of the EpiPen, expanding its voluntary recall of the allergy medicine here in the United States. There is apparently a defect that prevents some EpiPens from deploying medicine in the event of an emergency. Ford recalling 53,000 trucks from this model year because they can apparently roll away even if parked. Ford's still working on a fix. In the meantime, the automaker says drivers of the F-250 truck should use the parking brake to make sure that parked cars don't move. A Janesville woman calling for action after a contracting job left her with a leaky roof. Her insurance company won't cover the damage because they say the roof was installed poorly. Our Leah Lynchide is in the newsroom now with more. Leah? Hi, Eric and Susan. Well, Cynthia Eibach hired Red Hawk Roofing off of a reference, and after being told the manager had 13 years of experience. What she's left with, though, is a $5,000 bill and a roof that will have to be redone. There are plenty of pictures. Probably 20 some pictures. Of this plot of land. The bedroom one doesn't show justice of her room. Purchased by Cynthia Eibach two years ago. And had a home inspection and everything was good until this. But these aren't photos of a picture perfect home or a happy family inside it. Another picture. Instead, they show the nightmare on top. Last spring, Cynthia contracted Red Hawk Roofing to replace her roof, $5,000, and a few days later... You could hear this dripping, and it was raining outside. You could hear the dripping. Well, water was running down through my garage. Evidence of leaking ceilings can be spotted throughout Cynthia's home, including in her granddaughter's bedroom. Right above there. It's um, like sagging right there. Where the threat of a collapse looms. The list of problems with Red Hawk's roofing job continues. Another picture. Cynthia's insurance company won't cover the cost of any repairs, citing faulty installation. And when Cynthia called Red Hawk's insurance company, she was told the company hadn't been covered at the time her roof was installed. Further, the lifetime warranty of her shingles is void, again because of poor installation. If I was to go sell my house right now, it wouldn't pass an inspection for the roof. I would have to redo it to sell my house. The company appears to still be operating, even using photos of Cynthia's botched roof job to advertise online. Owners did not return our calls for comment either. This is where he caught the first time that it was leaking. Instead of pictures to be proud of, to be framed and fawned over, Cynthia's gathering evidence of her home, preparing to take Red Hawk to court. Now, Cynthia's contacted other roofers to get an estimate on repairing the damage. She's been told the whole thing would have to be replaced. She's also filed a complaint with the state's Department of Consumer Protection. Well, you look at that. She's also going to have to have the drywall replaced and the ceilings. Just, you know, roof jobs. You always hear about that you really have to hire a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A yeah, good that's person true. to do it. All right. We'll continue to follow this yeah, one, we'll Lee, keep, and see we'll what keep happens. An update. We'll get an update on that. Leah, thank you. Now, a reminder you can call our hotline, and volunteers will help you with any consumer complaints. The number there on your screen, area code 608 270 2833. And our call for action phone bank is open every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just call between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m.